So everybody should receive one model like this. Three unit bridge. We have a circular shoulder on the central and the final margin with, with zirconium on the, on the canine. I don't mind, I have a colored frame. You see that almost in compared to a white one it's a big difference. But this colored frame not prevent you not to using a kind of a bond, a bond liner. So you still have to use, because the colored frame not automatically you have the bond, the bond strengths there. So you still have to apply Shinova, for example, number five. So painting, you do thin and you see immediately the change. You see? Immediately you have to change in compare to the to the prefabricated colored frame and you can individualize you look I can do approximal darker just with one one move. It's so easy and so quick and not need any space. For baking, almost you need almost very minimal drying time. Yes, one minute. It's enough. So I start with the porcelain margin. Porcelain margin is 22 and 23. I continue with the uh, with the margin using twenty two, twenty three. Depending on the color you wanna work with.
try to make a, a white tooth with natural uh, translucency most as possible because translucency and white that is opposite so it's difficult to get both but it's possible sometimes I don't know why sometimes it works in my case and sometimes not just maybe I'm sometimes have more luck and sometimes a little bit less then of course the lateral something in between central and, and, and canine so the canine become maybe a light canine maybe a A2, A3 I would say even when I do light uh, shades very light shades much lighter than B1 I think so I try to go into that when we have a white frame a white dentine a white enamel and everything white that looks after in the, in the end looks like a cheese it is no uh, have not a natural appearance impossible so you need we need working with chroma also we need a kind of a contrast so I starting we have this not very white frame underneath it helps me to keep the depth in uh, my crown I using this uh, aqua line more than maybe two years around so we starting on the neck A1 A1 is in my opinion a dark color I mix this A1 with PSO, PSO for those people they not know in creation PSO is, is an enamel with opalescence and milky white so 50-50 A1 PSO Yeah, that's good. It's an A1 with PSO half and half. So for the basal to the to the pontic. Okay. I use a little bit of patient stenting just to stop darkness Body. from the tissue the patient stenting 43 and 32 32 yeah it's right half and half mm, a no, little bit and less 32 the, the, based on 32 yes Proximal with painting A2. That's painting A2 in the proximal? So normally we are not using anymore. I come back to when I build, I'm not using anymore opacious dentine approximal and also the approximal dentine. So I'm using more light translucent material approximal. I explain that after. We keep in the A1 range for the lateral two. A1 denting? Cervical, so it gives automatically. Then PSO a1 and PSO, same thing.
It's like a sketch for like wax up or something like this. Just it's a little bit hard to contour it at the moment. The canine higher value more opaque. Opacity forty three. So we look for translucency, yes? In the anteriors and the canine can be more chromatical. That's in A2 on the customer. So now powder is starting to dry out, so I access that to the this paper band. Just to keep them moisture also here. Is O2 59 SI2 SO2 is uh, a kind of um, enamel with opalescence in a orange. Uh, Way. Yeah, that's okay. Make that much empty. There, so. PS zero. In the corners. That's a mixture of uh, PS zero and instant eleven. White. This white. White, yes. Is not on the model. So now I'm, I have a kind of uh, under contour central, yes. I try to play my, my like on a canvas, my shade, different shades. So I have horizontal, very intense, white stain, 43 PSO. <coughs> that is the layer on top. We make another layer the same way. <coughs> Irregular. And normally, if I have these stripes, horizontal stripes, you can see, you, you see this most of the time, I think so, when, we, when you are finished with your crown, you have very strong horizontal stripes. Okay, what I do, I go very intense underneath, and I go, I smooth them up quasi again with PSO. That's only enamel, you know? So that means also that PSO contents also translucency. So it's a white, white enamel. And then we go on top to lower this this um, high-value 
area with the different uh, translucency. Can be orange, can be, of course, uh, opal always works very well when the underground comes white. It opal doesn't work this well in dark color because the opal, opal sense get killed by too much um, metal oxide uh, stain color. The mamelon I use in general the 63. Mixed, always some little denting. I could take more. The mummy ones are make in MI sixty three, the mixture yeah. with A three. Those of you who don't use creation, so we. We place the, the mamelon. That's a depend depending how how strong you want to have them. You have uh, two ways to make them very discreet. Is you mix them with dentin down value and chroma, or you put them very underneath and on top a lot of enamel and this kind of thing so it also makes them very smooth. Mesial mamelon. This different characterization on the incisor, that's up to your decision. Just it's let go your your fantasy, play with your fantasy. So in Nova number one, helps me to make the mamelon a kind of pink, you know, sometimes young, is showing this wonderful pink, very tender, make weaker with the on, only enamel. So it is not transparent, it's translucent. So make them softer. The number 59, overlaid on top of Mamelon. So the chroma, I try always to make my own mixture. That means HT, a little bit of dentin, then 12 and 14, and I just mix that together and have a look how how it shows, you know, how it come out here. Mixture of A3, HD, 5354, and little Innova number Instant 12 and 14. 12 and 14. So, so far, I just mixed this together, but now I depend well, what coming out, what I indicate is I use a lot 
or do I lose on the, use only a little bit? So that makes the difference, you know? So I use not too much because I don't want, look, some grains only to just very little. So we go on top. Sometimes also we can use some gra grains, little little pieces of HD. So just to give them some chroma. S O ten opal translucency O T. clear together each one third, clear and aside two, that means very translucent SI2, So the reaches here I higher with this intense mixture of 43 stains and PSO. Highlighting the contour, go on top PSO. Make just like a frame from high value. It's HD. 53 and 4. 54. 54 yeah. 53 and 54. So I always look for, for a kind of uh, depth first. Translucency. I just complete with different enamels by my labial contour, translucency, always again lighting up and cover with translucency. I think so, honestly, I work like this. When one layer need not function, I come grind down to the next layer and then maybe it's the color what I want. So I, I try, in one way I try to make Two layers, maybe two and a half layers, they promise something. And then uh, after I grind, I see which one I take. <laughs> Lateral. always working with contrast, with different tendons, even 
for the lateral to make the match better to the neighbor, in this case to the canine. Again, adding enamel 59. SI2 59 SI2 The alternation was 59 and SI2 on the lateral So we place again Mamelon kind of softly that's Mamelon. 63. And you make Mixed with A3 denting powder. We place a kind of illusion here to make a lower value below the Mamelon. Be careful with the illusion, please. So Enamel on top to the mamelon. Enamel 59 covering the mamelons. Translucency SO and SO10 OT and clear. It's a mix of SO10, OT and clear. That's a translucency. Yeah. Light spots again. Intense. Straight PSO. Cover with PSO. PSO alone is not strong enough, it's not intense enough, so we push underneath the value. PS0, OD43, and the white stain. It was just to intensify the white spot and covered with PS0. Hello. Hello effect with, uh, what is it, dentin? It, uh, dentin and uh, PSO. Uh, dentin yeah. and PSO A1. That's a little wash of uh, Dentin A1 and PS0. That's still Dentin A1, PS0, support the contour. Sickness, measure, try to go not less than 0 0.7. That's a minimum, yeah? Yeah. 0 0.7 millimeter of dentin, min minimum. Then, uh, enamel. 59, enamel. Pistol. Mesial distal. SI02 SI2 59 SI02 Incisal frame SI2 and 59 Segmental filter
make a wash. Like a mamelon is very soft, canine is kind of a, a soft. Character of a mamelon, so. In, in Nova number one. Yes. It's the same mammal mixture. Yeah. Very thin, washed, softly. With 59 in size of overlay. Enamel. Enamel. SI02. SI2. Fifty-fifty SIO2 and clear. Half and half. SI2 and clear. Translucency SO10. For those, they are not your, uh, knowing uh, creation. SO10 is a bluish translucency. And I add some opal uh, translucency to neutralize the blue of the 10, of the SO10. And I need a more translucency for for these two two so I add some clear on so it's very simple to understand. So the mixture was SI10, OT and CLO to come to uh, the Casper way. Little PS0 around the neck and the belly. That's SI10, OT and clear again. So, palatinal, we start the row palatinal in with 60, 63, but very thin, huh? On the lingual, it's make in 63, very thin. You know, like little, little tongues. Yeah, the make in was diluted with 83 dentin. It's a mixture of uh, HD 54 and 53, and what was the stain? Uh, 12 and 14. 12 and 14. Hello. The hello effect, which is A1 and PS0. Yeah. We keep them uh, light. Keep the hello light. Little HD. A two, A two on the lingual inside one.
complete just shape. Approximately we try to fix the contact in the first peg. Is that in A3, in the proximal? Is it dentin? Dentin A2. Dentin A2 underneath the contact? Uh, some comments uh, for uh, those people they are not have experience with uh, zirconium. So the most how they realize zirconium shrinks a little bit more than, than uh, the classic. But what I want to show you, you can come close. Be carefully when you work on zirconium, not touching with the disc, the frame. And you cannot control that actually. And even when you, when you have people employed, for example, and they don't spend attention on that, you cannot repair that anymore. So then you ask, of course, how I can grind. It's better you grind with this kind of a carborundum disc, and I'm working on something. So I try to have the mesial contact, I, the basal, the pontic, and the distal contact, and the legs. That's what I look, achieve on the first page. So because I not make my correction on the model, never. So I keep, uh, so you know, I have the contour almost, almost right. You know the, the contour on labial is almost there, so it's easy just to correct uh, free hand. Approximal high chroma. Uh, this uh, uh, no, this is uh, dentin A3. A3. Uh, dentin A3 in the proximal. Fourteen, uh, twelve, and fourteen. Stain number twelve and fourteen mixed with HD. 
depending now you see what what you which kind of a value or which kind of a chroma you have so the correction what I do now is almost uh, the mixture of SO10 OT and clear this is my basic correction on the labial side I don't want change much so with that because I have a kind of a high value central if I want to keep that I using also PSO if I want to reduce that I use only this translucency SO, SO10 OT and clear Some little little chroma, just a few grains only, change a lot. So if I need this mixture a little bit more orange, of course we just put some uh, HT 54 and 53 together. This is still. SO10, OT and clear? Yes, a little bit more clear on this, this side here. A little bit more clear on that mixture? Yeah. Just contouring. I want to keep the translucency on the incisor. It's still the same mixture, SO10, yeah. OT and clear? Work on a mesial contact. Dentin A2. Cervical approximal I'm not using too translucent material because uh, it need to be stable in value so we cannot use too translucent SI2 corner so we have in this area now <coughs> quite chromatic approximal so we build the ridge, the distal ridge, palatinal ridge. SI2? SI2, I like this uh, enamel a lot. So, what SO10. SO10? Pontic addition with uh, dentin A3. A3 pontic addition. HD with stain in proximal. SI2. HD with stain. SI2. PS0 SI2 HD with stain SO with OT OT yeah. <coughs> SO10 OT and clear mixture HD with stain. Yeah. SO10, OT and clear. Mixture. PS0 with white. With denting. With denting. PS0 with denting. 
SO10, OT and clear mixture, HD with stain, PS0 with dentin, HD 5354 mixed with SO10, OT and clear mixture, HD 5354 HD with stain HD with stain SI2 PS0 HD with stain SI2 HD Dentin A3 PS0 SO10 OT clear. PS0 with dentin. Uh, yes. Yeah. PS0 with dentin.
I just uh, put some glazed liquid on top to see to see the the color better. With vacuum vacuum uh, uh, baked, still I using 
glaze powder. Glaze powder makes this this uh, combination what I ate the last on a little bit finer and also melting smoother. That was a Dentine A1 with the glaze powder inside the corner and then interproximal was HD with a little stain. Just the glaze powder mixture was about 20% the more glaze powder you put, the lower it melts. So, you know, it's up to you, but 20% is probably good. Actually, I do this way also correction. I make my own correction powder. HD with stain. A1 with glaze. HD with stain. Do you have any possibility how you want to correct. SI2 to correct the shape. No hair dryer or stuff like that. Disturb me too much noise and too complicated. Just a surface thing, instant. Baking, baking temperature is on the on the lower temperature in the correct. Maybe we can uh, place them in the correction temperature. That means in my furnace, uh, seven ninety.